My father's mother, she told me her father was a white right. slave master. Right. And she looked it. The day my women here today, daughters, girls, all subject to your own biddings. You take their son today, bash the brains in with nightclubs, blow the brains out with your gun throughout the country without any due process of law right. that you have already put here before them. Right. Right. Law of justice, you have it, but we don't enjoy it. Right. Just for yourself. Right. You have in words, trodden us under feet in the mar of civilization. That's right. And now today, you stand as our chief adversary right. to prevent us right. from escaping right. Right. your own evil and unjust doings right. right. to our people. whose sweat and blood has helped you to build the greatest country and government on the earth. Right. You are so rich today that you are able to feed almost the every mouth in Europe right. and to clothe them. Right. You are so rich that you can throw away billions of dollars to nation to get their friendship. You are so rich and so powerful that you command the high seas, the air, the land, even to, to the ice caps of the poles of the earth. All this we help you <laughs> to do. Right. We are still standing. Right. While that some of us go to your walls, shooting down your enemies right. as you right. point them out to us, That's right. and are being shot down, right. Right. you still back home your brother killing us right. at home. Right. You don't come to us single, one by one. You go against us in games. Then if we cry for justice, you take that and twist it right. and make it look like that we are the real enemies of justice yeah. that you're trying to enforce. <laughs> if we say that you are evil, you want to make a case against us right. for falsely accusing you. Right. When you know that you've never been good to us. Right. Today, you are friendly to your dog. Right. You also let him ride in your fine transportation yeah. besides you.
As it is written, we live and is a prey in the hand of a hypocritical nation. You say that you're going to do better by us than you have in the past. Do you mean to say that you are doing better by us by giving us more jobs or better jobs or laughing in our face and showing to us that you want to be friendly and sociable with us without any land? People, what you love for you. You want them to stay in your name. This shows that you are a hypocrite. You didn't mean that you had freed them. You know as long as that so-called Negro are called by your name, he belongs to you. There is no power in the international world of black mankind that can come here and demand you to give these so-called Negroes up as long as the so-called Negro agrees to be called by your name and to worship what you worship and to accept what you offer. No Negro. You know that. You know they are blind, deaf, and dumb. As Mr. O'Allen O'Connor, yeah, a few days ago, referred to me as Elijah Poo. And I have never been a Poo. Could I have been a poo when that was my grandparents' slave master's name? Do Mr. Len O'Connor want to make me white? I'm not no white man. Why call me after your name? But Mr. Len O'Connor is very clever. He's very smart. He know that Elijah Muhammad, people is dead, mentally. And he know that the best way to rule and keep them subject to him is to blind them and make them to believe that you in your right name. That's your right name. My name, my name is your, whatever. What was your name? You never had a name. That was their name. How can we say we have a name when we are called by someone else's name? Now today, God Almighty in person is offering you 99 attributes of himself as name. Falling under the blows of so-called peace officers and hauling at the uh, bullet from his gun for nothing. I have seen police uh, go and vex one of our people to try and make him say something so that they can get a chance to beat him or kill him. I know that to be fact. You say that you want to help us. Help us where? Help us to do what? If you don't want to help us to leave you with a good sin off, then what are you going to help us to do if we stay here? You want us to stay here as the Bible teaches us in you. You want to hold us as a prey. That's all. And again, symbolically, it says in Daniel, 
that the beast had three ribs right. of a man in his mouth that he saw rise up on this, uh, the water. We must remember this symbolic picture yeah. must be interpreted, right. understood. Right. If he had three ribs in his mouth of a man, what man had he yet? About just because they asked for a fair settlement. Right, right, right. And I have heard your own brother in this house say to them, you take what I say. Yeah. You don't figure behind me, right, nigger. Right. Right. 20 million people yeah. come through as, as the old prophet in your last book of the Bible through both trial and tribulation. Right. We are here today asking for equal justice right. under your own law. We're asking for freedom that you claim that you have given to us. Freedom to go for ourselves. We don't want you to think that we want to be an ever beggar on your hand. We know you have gotten plenty to beg. If we wanted to beg you, you have plenty to fascinate us, enticing us to just to sit and be charmed at your wealth to beg. But if we are given freedom indeed, we can go build for us the same as you have. You are educated in your schools, your colleges and universities, our technicians, engineers, of all time, why should not they go and forge and blast the way for their own people as a nation, build and construct a government for their people as you and your father did when you crossed the Atlantic? They may. They may be a little lazy and want to start at top first, but you wasn't able to start at the top. You may have it in their mind that they cannot even go for themselves. But I want to know how educated was your fathers when they crossed the Atlantic to start fighting off the Indians. Your little white self, why would you go and get black people to come here? Why would you mix your blood with the black people and yet deprive them of equal justice? That's the thing. If you're so mighty and so wise, why did not you build and construct your own government and country and leave us alone? Paint but labor. Why should not we want some of this earth where we can start building a government for the future of our people so that they won't be a subject people for just labor, labor year after year for another people? And in all of that laboring and submissive to the will of that nation, they still are subject to the most brutal treatment that human beings can ever be subject to. And protect and maintain the government that you want. You should be ashamed of it. Especially when that same slave, father, slave for your father, for nothing. And now you will go and Take him before your own judges, and there give him an unjust judgment. This is a shame thing. Do you think that you are going to get away with it forever? If God Almighty uh, help upon me, Hell, that the old clay pots 
in uh, the time of Nebuchadnezzar and uh, Belshazzar was sick and get away with it for 400 years, frying their flesh in the fire, shooting them down at will all over the country, making a mark of God's protection for them. Do you think that God would sleep forever and allow you to treat these people like that? Recently, Jan Lost Angels on the 27th of May, 75 police came over to kill all that they could of my, of my followers in mass number 27. Think over that. Right, right. 75 police is right. well armed right, right. with all kinds of shooting <laughs> weapons. Right. Came and start shooting point blank right. at unarmed right. people right. who were not able to even strike back with a club. Right. Right. And you sit solidly and laugh under your sleeve, say you should have killed all of them Negroes. Do you think that you are going to get away with it? Okay. I say you are gravely mistaken if you think that you are going to kill us and get away with it. Yeah. We have been put here as a dare for God to get a chance to fight you. Right. We know that we are going to lose a few, right. but we know that God is going to kill all of you. Yeah. himself to not to carry weapons. Right. To bring you to a not who believe right. that weapons is your God. Right. You believe in that. Right. He want to disgrace you. Right. <laughs> and that will be done. Right. You're starting just right. right. <laughs> we that say Allah is God we that say in Arabic, Allahu Akbar. Right. We that say in Arabic, La la illa ha. Illa ha. Muhammad Rasulullah. We that say that in your midst today should make you tremble and go off and commit suicide. Not going to run trying to produce with the army. Right. Shoot the others down right. before you. Face right. that right. you don't like. Who are trying to get justice for themselves and others. You kill them. Do you think that uh, your day would not never come? Now the senator, he, <clears throat> he says to Mr. Malcolm this morning, did you pray that a plane would fall every day or something like that? Did you, uh, uh, was you happy because that plane in uh, France that <clears throat> wrecked and killed 130 people on, and uh, something like 120 was from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> said, do you serve a God like that? He said, I don't want none of a God 
that will be happy in killing people like that. I want to ask the senator, do you think that we are happy to have you as our God who kill us like that? If the senator and the <clears throat> mayor and chief of police in Los Angeles does not care about the God that we worship, why does he <clears throat> fear the poor man, Mr. Malcolm, to praying to a God to help him that he don't believe in? Why should he fear that prayer? He should laugh at Brother Malcolm and say, help yourself, Malcolm. Pray to him some more. <laughs> you don't get it. We want freedom indeed. We want justice. We want to be justified as human beings along with other human beings. We want the world to know that we love to be respected as other people who are now being respected. We cannot <clears throat> live in America and keep increasing a nation here to wait for white people for, uh, 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 I would say, little money or some bread. Right. <laughs> Again, I warn you that employment in your behalf right. will continue to decrease. Right. You're not going to get no permanent job. You're not going to remain on the job that you have. The white man know and I know that he is now being driven out of foreign land because of his troublemaking. He knows that this is a manifest proof. Now, if he are driven out of African and Asia, do you think that he's going to give you a job before he give his own people a job? <laughs> Devil, he what to do? came here yesterday. <laughs> Freedom to do for yourself as you think best. That's what they are fighting for themselves. To be free to do as they want to do. And they are fighting to the death for it. You and I should fight to the death to be free to do what we want to do. Because I teach you the truth. That's all. They know that I'm doing a better job with you than any one ever appeared among you. If the white circle leave, want to keep their circle white, I say, thank you, keep it white. Yeah. If the German Nazis want to keep their race white, thank you, keep it white. Right. If the Ku Klux Klan want to keep their race white, I say, help yourself. Go to it. Now, when I say I want to keep mine black, white circle league, German Nazi, and Ku Klux Klan, keep your mouth out of it. <laughs> Tell me they want to stop me from teaching. But I say you won't do that unless it please Allah. Every day now, they are, uh, are planning how to stop Elijah and his followers. But I say, I think you're a little late. Yeah. <laughs> Kill his friend. Right. 
A friend will not, not deprive his friend of justice. Right. A friend will not try to make his friend a slave. Right. Right. No. Do they try to do all these things for you? Of good? No. They are against anything coming to you of good. Right. I said to you, and I said to the white man, the time have come that a separation of the black man and the white man will take place, whether you like it or not. I want to say again, if you don't want to give us some of this earth to ourselves to live on as you have killed off our brothers, our own people to take it and live on it yourself, I say we have a God that will make a place here for us. I thank you.